hi guys so we're learning how to make this beautiful dress with one side ruffle okay i wore it for an outing so stay tuned with me to the end of the class to learn this so to get started you need your busy body pattern i'll be linking this in the description box in case you do not know how to draft yours so the first step now is to get your shoulder to your neckline for mine is six inches okay shoulder to your neckline is where your cleavage started from your shoulder to where your cleavage started and i'll roll that line across this way okay now i'm going to get the midpoint of my armhole okay so that's just what i'll mark there the midpoint of my armhole and i'll be connecting it to get my neckline okay so i'll connect it to this point to get my neckline okay using my curve all right so just watch how i'm connecting it take note that you can make yours deeper than what i have here it's all up to you but i don't like mine all exposing okay so that's it i'll label it neckline okay now the next step is to get the midpoint of my armhole okay and i will connect it to my boss point line and this is what we have where you can you can transfer that to your shoulder or transfer it to your waist but i will be transferring to my waist okay for this pattern so just stay with me to the end of the class and you see how it goes don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel guys don't forget to click the notification bell anytime i post you get notified okay so i'm going to be transferring my darts now to my waist okay so that's this is just how to transfer your dart to your waist so simple so easy just this way okay i'm going to be taping it down so it will be in place all right so i'm going to cut through the armhole okay so this is just it this is just a pattern now i'm going to be contouring this neckline part okay i'll be contouring it all right because i'm doing a 50 percent contouring on this part okay so that's just what i'm doing so it, it won't gape when i wear it i'm making this dress for myself okay so that's just it. so i contoured with half inch on both sides you can contour with more it's just all up to you okay so that's just it. and i taped it and transferred it to the waist as well okay now i'm going to also dip in my neckline a little more by one inch you can dip in yours by more you can leave it just as it is but i want to dip in it by one inch extra okay so that's just it and i'll be connecting it this way and i'll go ahead and cut that off so guys don't forget to subscribe click the notification bell so you get notified anytime i post okay now over to the back i um i'm going to be linking this in the description box okay i'll be working starting from the midpoint of my armhole and then i'll be connecting it using my curve to this point okay so that's just the watch how i'm connecting it you can decide to freestyle the back parts of your neckline however you want it but this is how i want mine okay this is how i want it looking so that's just this and i added one inch zipper allowance to it okay and i'll connect it straight out and then i connect it to my waistline in this manner to avoid zipper bulge okay and then i'll go ahead and cut it out all right so that's it for the pattern now i'm going to contour the neckline as well to avoid gaping just like we did at the front i'm contouring it with just half an inch so i'm marking 0 0.25 on both sides okay first of all just extend the line of your darts and then i'll take uh, 0 0.25 on each sides okay 0 0.25 on each side and then i'll connect it to the chest line this way and i'll go ahead and close the darts okay so i'll transfer it to the waist transfer the darts to the waist so in that manner you've closed the upper part of the darts okay so just watch how i'm closing mine okay that's just it all right so here we have it so this is the that's right at the waist now okay 
now i'm going to go over to cutting our pattern pieces right now so i'm starting with cutting the back pattern okay so this is just it the pattern already has one inseam allowance okay so i'm not going to be adding extra allowance to the sides i will only add to the waist to the armhole and to the neck line part okay so just watch and see how i'm cutting my i did just half inch for joining to the skirt part and the armhole for the sleeve and the neckline for turning okay that's just it so you see what i have here now we are going to be cutting off the darts so we don't have bulky darts because i don't want to make it pleats i want to stitch it up as a dart so i'm going to be cutting it we already have half inch from the original dart line so i'll just cut what i have here out so this is just what you're going to do for your own pattern as well and this is what we have okay this is what we have now when you want to sew it all you have to do is just pick it up this way close it up like this and then stitch it okay just close it up this way stitch it all the way okay and then weave it and iron it now over to the front we're going to be cutting the front as well we're basically repeating what we did just half inch on the neckline armhole and on the waist part okay and then we're going to be trimming out the darts just like we did for the back okay that's just it all right that's just it so when you want to sew you pick it up you stitch it okay in this way you pick it up and you stitch it all the way that's just it okay you weave it and give it a good press so this is what the front looks like okay this is just it now this is going to form our ruffles okay for the side of the dress okay this is going to form our ruffles so i went ahead and cut about eight inches or so you can make yours wider it's all up to you okay so i'm going to hem the side this way all right and that's just it for the side ruffle and then this is my sleeve pattern so i went ahead and cut double of it because it's two sleeves okay so this is our sleeve pattern so i measured just right here like you can see i measured 11 inches wideness and of course the length is 17 and a half you can make yours wider and you can make yours longer it's all up to you it depends on the kind of sleeve you want to achieve so i went ahead and cut my skirt pattern I'm, I, the only difference is that i made it longer i'm going to link it link how to cut your skirt in the description but uh, box okay so i went ahead and cut facing for the bodies that we have here this is for the front okay so i just cut facing for it the only difference is just that it's shorter so i'll stitch it and then i'll flip it this way this is the back okay this is the facing as well just a shorter i just traced the neckline okay i'll stitch it as well okay and i'll flip it okay i'll do that for the second part as well don't forget we're going to be stitching our that okay i'll go ahead and do that on mine now okay and i'll definitely of course weave it okay so i've gone ahead to stitch the darts and weave it as you can see here i stitched it and i weaved it okay and i went ahead and ironed it down okay and that's it okay and i'm going to be joining it to the skirt part okay so this is it I'm joining it to the skirt part okay so I'm pinning it I like working with pins so you can go ahead and pin yours but if you don't like working with pins it's still okay just go ahead and join the the top body part to the skirt pattern okay that's just it now remember if your skirt has that don't forget to sew your that before you do this part okay I don't have that so that's it so stitch it up and that's it okay now over to the sleeve this is what i have here so i went ahead and made a casing where i'll pass elastic you can see the casing hole i made i did it at the up part and at the hem part as well so i'm going to be passing elastic through those parts okay now 
I'm going to be cutting the armhole on the sleeve. So I'm going to measure the armhole I have on my body. Okay. So this is the armhole I have right here. I'm avoiding the facing for the neckline. Okay. So my armhole is five inches. So I'm going to be cutting five inches on my sleeve as well. Okay. I'll make sure it's five inches on my sleeve pattern as well. Okay. So that's what you go ahead and do for yourself so that's just it so i measured it to be five inches okay so it's perfect here i'll put elastic and i'll put elastic right here too okay for the two sleeves and that's it for my sleeve okay and then i'll go ahead and of course stitch here up okay after joining it to my gown okay so this is it this is uh, the waist part. I've joined it, okay? And you can see I've also stitched my facing, okay? And ironed it, and this is what we have, okay? And this is also the front facing. I went and ironed. I used hemming gum to hold it down after turning it. You can see how it looks very neat at the front, very beautiful, okay? So you just go ahead and do that process. Stitch your facing, and of course hem it down now i'm going to be closing the two sides this is my seam allowance i use one inch seam allowance to cut my pattern so i'm going to be using the seam allowance to stitch it all the way down okay i'll stitch one inch on the two sides this way okay to close it to my size to my body measurements okay i'll stitch it okay but i'll leave allowance here for my ruffles okay so that's it now this is the zipper part okay we're going to be working on the zipper part i'll show you so this is the zipper part okay so from my waist i measured nine inches okay i left that open from my waist i measured to nine inches okay that's where my zip is going to be stopping now from nine inches i measure to 20 inches okay that's where my slit is going to start okay 29 inches to 20 inches that all the rest is going to be my my slit you can make yours longer you can make your shorter it's all up to you but i'm perfect with this you can see how the dress looks on me at the beginning and end of the video so i've gone ahead to stitch the sides okay that's it all right and left here open for my zipper allowance okay so now i went ahead and ironed it open as well okay and now i've stitched it so you can see this is open this is the end where we have our zipper uh, uh, our slit sorry and i ironed it open okay so we're going to be working on our side ruffles so i'll take out the pins i used to hold that side ruffles but remember i said don't stitch through all the way the side ruffles part okay so i left that part open and taking out the zip the, the pins i have there so i can attach my ruffles before i close it up with the seam allowance okay so my ruffles is going to be starting from my waist i'm going to be making the pleats starting from my waist okay for my ruffles so just watch and see how i'm doing it i'm just going to be making little little pleats all the way to the down of the gown okay all the way so i'm taking my time to make the pleats just tiny tiny pleats okay arrange it neatly okay just like i'm doing it right here okay so i'll go ahead and do it all across so this is what we have i'm gonna head to make my pleats all to the end now i'm going to close it up using the one inch seam allowance that i left on my dress okay so that's just it after pinning it i'll go ahead and stitch it down so guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on this video like share and comment okay so i'm gonna have to do that and this is what we have right here okay this is just it so i'll flip it so you can see okay so this is what our ruffle looks like this is what it looks like this is what our gown is look looking like right now all right this is what it looks like so i'll go ahead and attach my zipper to the gown okay so this is it all right i'm just uh straightening that out so you can see what our ruffle looks just like 
okay so this is it this is just it all perfect all perfect all perfect our gown is almost ready all right i'll go ahead and attach my sleeves okay i'll go ahead and attach my sleeves to it so i'll pass the elastic to the sleeve before attaching it okay so i will attach it after passing the elastic okay and that's it for the sleeve all right you can see the opening i left here so i can stitch starting from here all the way down okay and then i'll do the same for the other end of the sleeve as well starting all the way down this way okay so just stitch it all the way down and that's it for the sleeve okay so this is our final look guys i went ahead i hemmed the lower part of the dress so you go ahead and do that use the hemming gum isn't this dress so beautiful i wore it on an outing with my friends and this is just it thank you for staying with me guys see you next time bye please subscribe click the notification bell and leave me likes share and thumbs up thank you